Joshua comes up with an epic tale of confusion, some kind of a near revisit of Samshera, and makes one of the most bizarre combos of Indian mythology with modern science. This 10 steps backward, 5 forward is not just an arithmetical challenge, but it's also a challenge of patience if you're not overawed by the amount you've paid at the tickets and you're not concentrating on your popcorn and cola in the midst of this absolutely purposeless cacophony that goes in the name of country. Well, there's a lot of uh, debate on the Kalki avatar, what kind of an avatar, when is the avatar going to come. A lot of uh, people still have uh, date issues about the yuga, the period and all that. But you know, it is so nice for us to be ignorant. We have no inhibitions. We can tell whatever we want. And also, fiction is that licensed area where your stupidity or your creativity is your own limit. And in this case, it is certainly not creativity. Forward, uh, let's deal with what this uh, Kalki is all about. It has a tangential reference to the Kalki Amta. It therefore starts off with the Kurukshetra, brings in Ashwatthama, played by Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, who is told by Lord Krishna that uh, he is doomed to live a Chiranjeevi alongside General Vyasu, Hanuman, Vibhishan, etc. And has to pay the price of the disastrous genocide and the killing of the young boys, the progeny of the Pandas. But the redemption appears to be that he will be saved of his life at the end of the Kalinga when he plays the role of a savior in the life of Kali. He's taking Vyasa forward, interesting of course. But where he flounders, flounders, Asimov, is where Isaac Asimov tries to meet Veda Vyasa. You have these rusty automobiles, brown in color, as if they were uh, rusted from the days of uh, Penhurst's uh, sets. They are more modern or contemporary cinema dealing with uh, the apocalypse or the future. And you only have to copy the avatars and you know what you're doing. Avatar over the Dasha avatar is what? Kalki is the disaster about. The story takes you quickly onto another generation where there is only dust, dirt, confusion, cacophony. You have somebody, Commander Manas, played by Saswata Chatterjee. Saswata Chatterjee looks Roshogula. And you want to make a bad guy out of him? You will have to spend time creating the character and how much more time than three hours do you want? Sashwata fails to take off. He is as effective as the Indian batters play their first matches in Zimbabwe. Simply ineffective. He runs some kind of an allergy stroke, trade stroke, laboratory stroke, concentration camp where they have these funny capsules which is Likely to create, I don't know, is it a Zarathustra and a Superman, a Kalki Superman? I don't know. Nobody knows. At least Nagashwin doesn't seem to tell us what he's going to create. Unfortunately, in this camp, a black dressed women, all the guinea pigs can't carry this capsule in their womb beyond 60 days. And, and the only person who does it without it being injected into her, into yet another intriguing story, is Deepika Patkor. 
who has some number for a name and that's what she deserves. She doesn't even deserve a name. Then we have Prabhas, I don't know what he is doing in the film, it's like his career. Highly unpredictable, highly unsustainable, completely confusing, uh, with very uh, apparent attempts to build stardom. All of them, the only uniform denominator is this is something that simply refuses to take off. I'm not going to tell you the story of this. It's, it's intellectually degrading to tell you that it has a story, it has a storyline, it moves in a certain pattern, etc. Et and therefore, do not be carried away by peer pressure. I remember sometime in the 70s, Opie Ralhan made a film called Talash. The film flopped. It was the only film Rajendra Kumar acted with Sharmi Tagore. Some amazing songs by Sachin Dev Burman. But when the film was advertised as a one crore film, a question was asked to Ayers Johar on his comments on the bomber of the film. He said, In a fool and his money part too soon. That seems to be happening once too often in the box office today. Encouraged probably sometimes or more often than not by the moolah that you rake in at the box office. With all the money that Nagashwin will get, Kalki, that tickful, tells nothing of significance. Its technology is pathetic. Storyline is gruesome, the experience cruel. Is there in three hours some redeeming factor? Amitabh. Unfortunately, in the pre interval period, he behaves like he's trying hard to be Mukesh Khanna. But in the later part of the film, it's amazing that an actor of 80 years can bring that kind of intensity on his face. While he's doing the action scenes, maybe the action boys did all that, the stunt boys did it. But when it comes to the face chip expression, he's top rack. And he is one actor that is worth seeing. Amazing actors like Dalke, Shobhana are missed. Before you can say Dalke, he's done a room. There's a film that even Brahman and them can't tickle me. So pathetic. You have Ram Gopal Varma coming in for a minute, you have Raj Maudu coming in. All oh, these little, little tricks are the damn school. You want to get carried away by all this? You go for the money. You want to talk about and say, maybe Kalki Dekha? Go and watch Kalki. But don't forget to take an analgesic with you. You may need it at half time. You will certainly consume it by the end of the movie. And Poor technology, poor music, performance is not worth recalling, storyline bizarre, and yet if Kant is making noise at the box office, we the audience, who we very euphemistically call we the people, have a good time to check our premises. On that note, with acknowledgements to Datu and Abhinav, Carrying this forward to all of you, and thanks to all of you for watching. It's my life from Ravi Chandra.